aid is now being flown into the damaged airport on Sulawesi. The problem is distributing it to survivors of the tsunami. 25 countries are flying supplies in, but only two or three flights are able to land each day. Rural communities have been cut off by broken roads, landslides and crippled communications, leaving people increasingly desperate for basic needs, as aid has only just begun to trickle through. Indonesia's Deputy Foreign Minister said on Saturday that the most important items were aircraft, generators, tents, water treatment and field medical facilities. Meanwhile, the grim search for dead bodies goes on. In the island's capital, heavy machinery sifts through the debris. Hundreds of people are believed to be entombed in slowly drying mud that enveloped communities in the south of Palu. The 7.5 magnitude quake triggered a process called soil liquefaction that turned the ground into a quagmire. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has said all of the victims must be found and the search is expected to take months to complete.